Hey, what's good? It's Rockin' and uh, well, I haven't done this in a long time, but I felt it was kind of necessary. I'm going to start doing commentary on my matches again. Uh, I'm going to try and do one of these a week. We'll see how that goes, but, you know, there's a lot of plans for that. So, right now, I am focused on Karina as my main character. Um, that's what I'm going to be using for the majority of these videos. Um, here I ran into another one on ranked, so it was cool. I had a mirror match. Um, yeah, I've been practicing her actually since about October. And uh, I don't use it in a tournament. I don't think I use it in a tournament at all yet. Uh, but I'm still fumbling around with a lot of stuff. I've improved a bit, but I still have a long way to go. Uh, but yeah, I think this pick works out better than either Jury or Cammy. For me, Cammy was just getting to the point where there's just not enough there for me to enjoy, I guess, as a character. Um, I just got, got, got kind of bored. And I don't think she really f fully fits my play style. Whereas Corinne, um, basically, is like a wall of normals. This was a pretty solid run. I felt pretty good about it, so there wasn't too much that I had to really go in on, aside from the fact that when I did uh, when the other Corinne did that sweep, I didn't punish it with anything really except for standing medium kick. That's not great. Well, what you will see from me a lot, I think my main problem is I drop a lot of combos, and that's what I really got to uh, work on with her in particular. It's just like getting my combos properly. Um, but I do like the uh, the feel of playing her in match. Uh, I think if it's my style more, I like to press buttons. Which I noticed. <laughs> I like press buttons a lot. Um, there, I just didn't even bought that properly. Let me see if I can do it. Oh, dropped another combo. There we go. Good job. Also, I do have a problem now as well. I noticed in the last few matches I watched that I'd like to uh, jump a little bit too much. And I don't know when I got that problem back again, but it's, it's there. Um, by this time, I actually improved my anti airs as well. So the anti air uh, ES percent how was really good to get out there because I need to make sure they can't get on me in the air because Corinne's anti air is not that great. Right there, I just, I don't know if I want to call it a feint or <laughs> whatever. I just fell for the sweep. I didn't keep blocking low. I don't know why I stopped blocking. I think I tried to punish something, but there was nothing really to, to punish. I just got swept. But I reacted too late. Um, I fished way too much with that standing roundhouse as well. That's another problem I got to definitely uh, work on. Uh, the buttons I fished with are just like, they're too slow. And I don't know if that's the thing with the game per se, but there I meant to go on a super. I had super sitting there. I didn't do it. Uh, just, I just had to confirm, like, oh, I can do it, and I just didn't react properly. Good anti air there. Again, I didn't block high on that, even though I saw it. That was just so weird. I didn't expect it to go over me, so I didn't really react to that um, when I should have. Now, that I'm going to react to. Bop. Two. Uh, really, I don't know if I can get super from that, actually. I think I can. Well, I could have did another combo to get it, but either way, I, finished, I managed to clean it up at the end. Um. I was looking for a super confirm at the end of that when I get that last juggle. It's just that I wasn't sure my meter would hit at the right time, and I noticed that I did the second, uh, the second tinkle that it did hit, and I'm like, well, I did get the meter at the right time. I'm like, ah, I can't juggle it now. Um, I need to react better when I have certain situations happen. Again, I'm blocking that low. I don't know why. That time I block it right, and I punish it, don't I? Yes, there we go. Um, I tend to go for the uh, Mewkin Ender a lot more than anything else. Uh, sometimes when not necessary, I have to keep an eye on that too. But I'd like to go for my V meter uh, build up when I'm in match rather than doing the uh, the Roche Ender. But I do practice Roche Ender more too. I don't do that nearly enough. Man, I was really, you know what? I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn or, you know, put myself up there. But I actually am anti airing quite a bit. I think this is after I had gotten beat quite a few times. <laughs> so I was getting kind of obnoxious about anti airing. That was kind of like my focus for the next few matches. Uh, in this time frame, like, you know what? I'm anti airing everything I see. I'm tired of getting jumped on. There, I just did jab as fast as I could because I'm like, I need to stop this cross up. And ES wouldn't, I don't think ES would have worked at that range. Please, somebody get this right. Oh, uh, yeah, I got super. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if I got it. But I missed the other combo where you actually do uh, Tanko into that switch around to super. It would have more damage, but whatever. We got her on, on her back foot. I tried to neutral up the base something there. I actually am very fortunate right there. I could have died right then and there. Um, that should have been anti air. Now, I'm, this is a, a common problem. I'm kind of looking at it now. I'm seeing it. Yep, I lost. This is a common problem. Um, once I get my opponent in that position where I pretty much just can win the round, I kind of let my foot off the gas and don't put my foot in the throat, if that makes sense. Like, I had him down. He was in the corner. I just finished super. I should have pressured more and kept them from really escaping, but I kind of just backed off and started playing extremely passive. 
and that's gonna be a common theme I've, that I've noticed from the matches I've seen so far with me is uh I tend to do that quite a bit and that's not a new problem it's always been a thing I start playing to not lose it's just creeping up more in this game because it's so punishing oh and now I'm giving it back momentum for this set because that after that last match I felt like I should have won my mentality was like oh man I can't lose now so I start playing really sheepish and really scared um I kind of just let them bully me. Yeah, I knew I could do better than that, right? Hopefully, I'll do better in this round, because that'd be terrible. I got hit by Miyuken right off the bat. That's my play. I'll come in and do Miyuken. Crush Counter, he didn't do anything with it. I jumped mainly just to keep myself out of the corner. It was an okay jump, but he could have anti aired me, so. I tried the anti air there. I tried to press Fierce. There, I tried to press Jab. Um, please do my punish this. Cool. All right, Miyuken. Nice. All right, there we go. And right now, I'm trying to get him to, to jump. I'm just waiting for him to, to do it. But he didn't do it. He actually did not feed me a jump. So I'm like, okay, now I got to actually play honestly. That was actually a bad jump in. I should have got punished for that one. He did it again, though. He has to have to do a mute. But I didn't punish that one properly. He did it again. This one I'm not going to let go, right? There we go. I could do a better combo than that. I need to do my EX combos more. I can actually do them. I have them down. I just, in match, I just resort to, like, the basic punish. That's another problem of mine. Like, in that situation, I really could have did EX Senko. Um, Ujin Kiyaku EX single, and I probably would have uh, would have won off of that rather than have to do another another play. So I give my opponent way too many chances. I don't go for max damage when I need to. Ooh. I'm still focusing on trying to anti air, so I want him to jump really, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna see if I can make him jump, as it were. Now I'm thought I'm making way too much though. That's a little too slow to be put out there like that, and he just whiff punished the hell out of me. Man, he's not going for anything else over there. Ugh, I panicked EX. I shouldn't have done that. I think I expected him to actually press on that, and he didn't. And I paid for it. Uh, this is about to be the end of that round, right? Yeah, just about. Oh, I don't even know what that was. That's probably standing. I feel like standing round house. Standing round house, excuse me. He just jumped right over it. He had me on that one. So let's see what I do for this final round. Maybe I can make a comeback here and not be as freed up. I should, I should mention these are all ranked too, or mostly ranked. Um, some are casuals, but mostly ranked. The way I've been doing it, up, put me in the corner. All right, let's see if I can get out of the situation. I did not confirm anything good there. Ah, that's another thing I need to do. So I have a really bad habit. Ooh, that, that should have been super. And I think I tried to do it again. I just, I dropped it. Oh, got that overhead again. Oh. Tell me I got this super. Yes, there we go. All right. I get happy when I do that because sometimes I'll get that super simple confirm and I just won't get the super at the end. And it's very, very aggravating. It is very, I've lost matches off of that. As you'll probably see in upcoming sets, I'm real good for that. Oh, I love this character. Oh, I love this character so much in so many ways. I am, I've always been a, a current fan. Um, I've been there in, th in uh, Alpha 3, excuse me. Even though I was terrible at Alpha 3, I did not play Alpha 3 at a high level. I was like but I was like 18, so whatever. I just played it with friends or whatever. But I still loved Alpha 3. Um, and I played it the hell out over there. So I don't know why I didn't really play her when this game first came out, aside from I was just scared to play her. I was like, man, this is I just like a lot of execution. I don't know if I can do it. And so I've been putting myself to it, because like she does have a lot of execution for stuff that I normally do. It's not like hard. Not real hard anyway, but um, there's enough there that I can drop it consistently, but if I, if I can play her consistently, I would be a better player. Um, again, not to be dogging Cammy out, because I think Cammy's a, obviously a great character in this game, but as everybody kind of warned me when I first started playing Street Fighter Five and I picked Cammy, she's very boring in this game. Um, Akuma this is a real fun match. <laughs> I'm still learning how Akuma plays in this game, and I've always had, I don't say trouble with Akuma, but he's always been a, kind of an annoyance to me. I like the way Akuma's playing to an extent um, a lot more fireball heavy because I want actually when I play Akuma sometimes too I play him for fun um, I've been playing a lot more fireball heavy as well so I kind of look at other people that play fireballs I did a dash under for an anti-air well not an anti-air but to escape a jump attack that's something I'm trying to remember to do um, it's kind of amazing what Karin can get away from uh, with her da her command dash like that I was having a lot of trouble before uh, obviously not on this video but um, I'm so fortunate there because he could have did a lot of stuff. Anti-air, yay. Um, I was in a lot of trouble dealing with stuff like Kuma, 
Akuma. Akuma, excuse me. <laughs> it was uh, air fire boss. Oh, I did that wrong. That was oh, that was just what, what was I doing? That should have been flat out staying around house into death. Like he should have been done. This match should not still be going, but I just did not punish that properly at all. That's actually an issue I got in this game too. Is I need to really I tried the anti air. I actually did try to anti air that. Um, I do not crush counter punish when I should. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> um. Yeah, but Akuma is air fireball. I was having a lot of trouble dealing with that as a uh, as Karina. And I kind of realized that whenever Akuma jumps, if he's gonna do an air fireball, I can just command dash under him, and there's not anything you can do about it. Just command dash to jump on reaction, and I can pretty much get under him. I'm not doing it here though. Um, he started mixing in dive kicks. I think it's the only thing I can really beat that. So I tried to wait too late to do it because if I do, then the fireball will hit me. But uh, and right now he's just playing a really good solid uh, zone game. I'm not gonna try and force my way in. I'm just gonna. Just wait for my chance to do the Senha. I probably should end up with the kick there. But then I just did the command dash to make sure I got in the room. That was an emergency jab because I totally did not get the anti-air on time. But I'm okay with it. She kind of needs her anti-air jab so I'm okay with it. I'm not sure why he did super here. But I'm not going to punish him very well. At all. As you saw, I should have did way more than that. I don't know if I can get jab confirmed off of the Senha though. I got to check that out. Or somebody can tell me when they watch this. Tell me how dumb I am for not getting that. But I'm going to get this here. And that's going to be the end of that. Um, yeah, I gotta figure out what I can do off of Rasenha when I get off a of fireball over a fireball punish. Um, I swear you can do a jab confirm, but I may be wrong, and it's been a little bit since I looked at uh, the actual combo stuff, so I gotta check it out, see what my options were. At the very least, I should have did the kick because that would have ended in a knockdown and gave me a better setup, so there was that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to be more patient with fireball game as well, so like when somebody's just trying to zone me out, just don't try and rush in. I've actually fallen victim to that quite a bit lately against Guile and uh, against Ryu. I react to I react to an overhead. I cannot believe I react to an overhead in this game with lag. I reacted to an overhead. I am proud, and I will for over, forever hold that moment in memory. Um, and right now I'm just playing a, a more pokey game, trying to give him the jump because I have meter, um, or trying to give him the oh oh. I'm not sure why I command dashed. That should have stripped just been walk up roundhouse I think I expect him to do a fireball or something he, but he did a DP or air fireball I should say and I still my brain was just already set to it that was just a weird circumstance I got over him with the EX for Senha neither one of us was like um or both of us was like how do we what do we do here I, uh, he's he's trying to throw fireballs and like back dash and step forward and that's why he's getting those DPs but I'm not punishing it and I could have punished that one it wasn't necessarily full screen but it was enough that I could like Get in all the time. I think. Okay, I got that one. I was like, I think I got this one, but I don't remember how this match went, which is probably a good thing because I won't be able to spoil it. So that's good. These matches were actually like about a week and a half, maybe two weeks before I recorded the, this commentary. So, oh, and I didn't quick rise, so you know I got to deal with that. I clearly, I got him to the wall. I did not go for ex there because I wasn't sure if I could make it. But I always have. Almost have one meter, and I do now. So I'm just waiting to get V trigger now. Bop, bop. Oh, I dropped it again. And now I didn't let him back in. Uh, I drop to the left a lot of the time. What I realize is that when I do Tenko, a lot of the, when I'm trying to do it fast and get the instant Tenko, I won't get the full input. Like, I won't go all the way to the left to get the uh, the full fireball input. And so I end up dropping the combo. I've got, so I have to be like consciously hitting that. I gotta make sure I get it to the point. See, I just dashed into that fireball. I love it. I'm so glad I discovered that. Not discovered it, but I'm so glad I thought about that. And now he tried to. That man tried the demon out of nowhere. Oh, boy. Dude, I've noticed that with, like, Silver Rank Akumas right now. There's a lot of, like, this is my last attack. I'm going to do, like, a normal N2 demon. And it's like, that does not work. <laughs> but I'm glad I'm able to catch on to it. Like, me before would be like, oh, let me just get a grab real quick. So, um,. Yeah, that was the uh, the sets. That was enjoyable. Um, that set didn't go. Those sets didn't go that bad. I'm gonna try to keep these videos to a lower time frame. Um, so it will be like two hour long videos of me having matches, and also I will upload the raws themselves uh, when I get a chance to. So they'll be there for your viewing pleasure as well. Probably before I actually do the commentary. 
Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I got plans for how this is going to work out. I want to keep doing commentary for my Street Fighter Fire matches and matches in general if I can. But it'll be easier for fives. And I know Street Fighter uh, a little bit better. Uh, just so I can get my chops back, man. I haven't been doing commentary since I stopped playing Cross, and I haven't, you know, I've been trying to do some here and there, but it hasn't worked out. And I'm really trying to like step my game up in Street Fighter Five, and uh, I'm not trying to be necessarily a top player. So I hope I don't give anybody that idea. I just enjoy playing fighting games, and I want to be uh, competent. Basically, I want to keep learning and keep understanding, and stop being so frustrated because that's one of my biggest problems. I get super frustrated, and one of the ways I can do that is to actually sit down, look at my matches like this, and see what I did wrong, see what I did right. Right, see what I can improve, see what I'm focused on, etc. Uh, like I said, probably my biggest takeaway from these is that I've gotten better at anti-airing, or at least for these rounds. Um, sometimes day to day, I don't anti-air when I should. It's like a switch I got to flip or something. I don't know. If I don't have my tea ready for me by the end of the day, I don't anti-air. I'm not sure. I got to work on that anyway. Um, and also just in fussies uh, or in the neutral, like what buttons I should be pressing. And then also with punishing better when people are just whiffing stuff right in my face. Uh, but those are the things I got to work on. Um, and combo consistency. Uh, basically, work on everything to top and bottom. Um, so, yeah, for the next set, uh, that should be up in, in the following week. I'm going to try and record these and, like I said, keep it pretty steady. Let me know what you think. Uh, this one's probably going to sound a little bit rusty or kind of need some work. I know. <laughs> if you got any comments or anything you want to leave with me, uh, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I will definitely try and improve the commentary and be smarter about these and become a smarter player. Like I said, right now in Street Fighter 5, my main is Corinne and my sub is Jury. Those are the two I play. Um, I'm focusing more on Corinne, but I am playing Jury and I've gotten re inspired by watching uh, pretty much Infiltration and uh, Gentleman Thieves. So I've been watching those two players. And, uh, but shout out to every Jury player out there and all the Corinne players. So I'm going to be, you know, trying to chat more on Discords and stuff. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I will holler at you later.